In this video, I will tell you what are the best business ideas for AI solopreneur. If you are new here, I'm Julian, a solopreneur who generated $2 million in revenue with an education business. I also run a free community for AI solopreneurs. To join, follow the link down below. The first business ID is AI SaaS. You build a software and you get a stream of passive income with monthly subscriptions. This is the dream of every solopreneur. With AI, developers can build software way faster than before. There is a whole range of SaaS that were impossible to build before AI as a solopreneur, but now you can. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, has predicted that AI will make possible the first billionaire solopreneurs. The AI SaaS market is projected to grow from 250 billion in 2024 to 340 billion in 2025. This is a 33% increase. With AI, you also have access to new capabilities thanks to AI APIs like OpenAI text completion, text summarization, image generation, your toolbox suddenly got way bigger. And this means that you can include new features in your SaaS. For example, for content creation with AI, you can now generate video ideas based on training topics. You can generate thumbnails based on AI. You can generate a transcript and automatically create a blog article. And this affects every industry, real estate, education, finance, the possibilities are endless. So when you hear someone tell you that the SaaS market is saturated, it's complete BS. The next business ID is AI development agency. You will create software for customers either with AI features in them or just by leveraging AI to create the app faster. Currently, businesses use many different SaaS for their business, but as the cost of software goes down, more and more businesses will want more customized solutions. You can also offer integration services where you help businesses to incorporate AI into their existing systems. And you can also do consulting where you advise on AI strategy and implementation. The global AI market is projected to reach $3.7 trillion by 2034, growing at 20% per year. Compared to doing your own SaaS, it's less risky to create software for other people, and it can be a great way to get started before moving on to your own SaaS. The next business ID is to create an AI automation agency. With an automation agency, you help businesses automate the process with AI. With software like N8N, Make, or Zapier, you can create automated workflows with a visual interface. The visual interface makes it easier to build, but it's also easier to visualize what is going on. It's like a built-in admin panel and customers love that. And you can combine these automations with AI to make them even more powerful. For example, lead generation. In many businesses, new customers have to submit a form. The information of the lead gets reviewed manually, then a call is scheduled with the lead if it's a good fit. With an AI automation, the form submission can trigger a workflow where OpenAI scores the lead. The result is saved in the company CRM. If the lead quality is high enough, a call is scheduled with a salesperson. This is just one example, but there are many other use cases for companies. Currently, businesses have budgets for AI automation. You could schedule free audit with potential prospect to see where AI automation could be applied. When you sell an AI automation, usually you will charge a one-time fee and also a recurring fee to cover hosting cost, API cost, support, and your profit. Even though it's not technically a SaaS, you can still get recurring revenue from it. And it's also easier to sell than a SaaS. And it can also be a first step to building a SaaS because if you sell the same automation to many customers, you know that the demand is there. This is why I think AI automation is a great way to get started in the AI world. The next business ID is AI agents. When I first learned about AI agents, I was confused. I couldn't see the difference between AI agents and AI automations. But it all comes down to one crucial difference. In an AI automation, a human defines the steps, but in an AI agent, it's the AI that defines the steps. When you set up your AI agent, you tell you what to do, but not how to do it. You give your agent a list of tools it has at his disposal, but it's up to the agent to decide which tool to use and when. Compared to AI automations, it can handle more complex workflows. It's a bit like a virtual employee powered by AI. The Y Combinator believes that vertical AI agents, those tailored for specific industries, could be 10 times bigger than traditional SaaS businesses. 
These agents can revolutionize different sectors such as customer support where you can automate responses to common inquiries, reducing wait times, recruitment where you screen resume and you schedule interviews, and sales when you manage follow-ups and you nurture leads. What does an AI agent look like? It's either a chatbot or it's a backend script that perform tasks plus a simple admin front end where you set up the agent and where you can find reports. You also have tools that allow you to create AI agents, but if you need more flexibility, it's better to code them from scratch. AI agents are a bit more experimental compared to AI automations, so you will need to do more education to sell them, but in the future, it will probably be even bigger than AI automations. At some point, it's AI agents that will create AI automations without any human intervention. When you sell AI agents, like with SaaS, you get recurring revenue. It's like if you were selling a virtual employee is. The next business opportunity for AI solopreneurs is education. With the AI boom, people are both afraid to be left behind, but also excited about the possibilities of this new tech. That's why there is a huge demand in AI education. You can create online courses where you cover topics from basics to advanced AI concept, boot camps, which are intensive online training programs with more interaction compared to courses, and workshops, which are in-person sessions with practical exercises. I've built an entire education business with this YouTube channel, so I know this market pretty well. You can define the education market between non-technical people and programmers. And you can also divide the market between consumers and businesses. Non-technical people is a bigger market but more competitive. Consumers are easier to sell to but also more competitive and the average deal size is smaller compared to businesses. I know a few solopreneurs who teach AI to businesses and they are doing pretty well. A one-day workshop can be sold for a few thousand dollars and this can be a first step to selling them other services such as AI automation. My last business idea for AI solopreneurs is AI media services. AI can now generate high quality content, text, images, videos. As a solopreneur, you can offer content creation where you produce articles, social media posts, or videos using AI tools. This can be for social media, but also for advertisement. And you can also offer video editing powered by AI tools. AI in media and entertainment is expected to reach $34 billion in 2025. What is interesting with this business is that your customer Customers have recurring needs. You could sell retainer packages where every month your customer will get a fixed number of videos or articles created for them. It's not easy to decide which path to take and this is why I created a free community for AI solopreneurs. We have regular Q&A calls, exclusive content, templates and a discussion forum. By discussing with others you will have more clarity on which path is best for you. To join follow the link down below. That's it for this video. Bye!